Fear Factory were always about technology and sounding high tech and futuristic, and the manufacturer reflected that in the production. It was very, it's a, it was a very um, technical sounding record, very digital sounding, very cold, very cinematic, like a big soundscape to it when you listen to it. There's a reason why that record is such an amazing classic record. It was definitely a vision I had, but I'm not taking the credit because it was a vision that I, the band had as well. It wasn't like I was coming up with these ideas of what we wanted and telling it to the band. The band and I had these ideas together. We both saw the path forward for the band. And that path forward was to basically evolve Fear Factory outside of death metal. You know, as much as I love death metal, it's a very limited type of genre. There's certain kids that don't like growling that aren't gonna listen to a band you know, if they hear growling. Like Metallica wouldn't be the biggest metal band in the world if James was a death metal singer, you know? So we knew that we wanted to take Fear Factory to a wider audience, but we wanted to do it in a way that didn't compromise who they were. So Bert was trying to work on, a, you know, basically perfect his vocals, get them away from growling, but still keep them tough and heavy. So it was still Fear Factory and it was still credible and still cool, but in a way that could reach metal fans that didn't necessarily like rally vocals and we passed with flying colors on that because it's a pretty huge jump from solo of a new machine to demanufacture not just in burton's abilities as a vocalist um but also in the songwriting in the quality of the choruses um in the production You know, to this day, that um, image on the cover of D Manufacture, which is the spine morphing into a barcode, which, um, you know, relates to Fear Factory's, um, van, you know, man versus machine thing that, you know, which is their long going concept. I mean, that was a brilliant piece of artwork. Um, and if you look at it, there are numbers on the, when it gets to the side of the spine that looks like a barcode, there are numbers there. And that's the actual barcode of the D Manufacture record. It's got the real numbers on it. So it was a really an iconic piece of artwork that just tied together the record in a beautiful way. And I saw a t-shirt of it recently. Actually, it wasn't a t-shirt. A guy who had the cover of D-Manufacture tattooed to his back. So the spine on his back lined up with the spine on the image. And it was just pretty, pretty amazing. But when you see stuff like that, you just realize um, how iconic artwork can be or what these records mean to people, how it's affected their lives. And, the manufacturer was when Fear Factory just, um, you know, perfected the formula and became the Fear Factory of today that, you know, that people know. That's really, in so many ways, almost like their first record. It was just completely unique for its time. Everything about Fear Factory, their whole sound, um, you know, the way they have the uh, good cop, bad cop vocals, which they pioneered the way they have the syncopated drums with the riffs. Um, you know, even the fact that Fear Factory were doing industrial remixes of their songs pretty much before any other metal bands were doing that. They did it with Fear is the Mind Killer, they did it with Remanufacture, which was the companion piece to Demanufacture. No bands were really doing that back then, and um, this is such a unique element to the band's sound that I think, um, you know, no band has quite been able to capture or imitate what they do to this day they're completely unique in their sound there's just nothing about the record that sounds dated you know the production's not dated um nothing it's just still it sounds as good to me today as it did when it was recorded in i believe 1995 well that's when it came out and the bottom line is great songs are great songs you know there are songs on that record that metalheads are still going to be getting into 20 30 years from now because they're just fantastic songs mm -hmm.